Hello friends, welcome to EC Academy. In this lecture, let us understand the properties of convolution sum. So in the lecture number 107, we understood commutative property and associative property of convolution sum. So in this lecture, we'll continue with the remaining properties of convolution sum. The next property is distributive property. The distributive property states that x of n convoluted with h1 of n plus h2 of n can be written as x of n convoluted with h1 of n plus x of n convoluted with h2 of n. So x of n convoluted with h1 of n plus h2 of n can be written as x of n convoluted with h1 of n plus x of n convoluted with h2 of n. Now let us prove this property. Now let us take LHS. Let us take x of n convoluted with h1 of n plus h2 of n. Let us use the formula for convolution sum and we can write this as summation of k is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of k into h1 of n minus k plus h2 of n minus k. Now this RHS can be written as summation of k is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of k into h1 of n minus k plus summation of k is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of k into h2 of n minus k. So this part of the equation, we can write it as uh, x of n convoluted with h1 of n plus the second part of this equation, we can write it as x of n convoluted with h2 of n. So we have proved x of n convoluted with h1 of n plus h2 of n can be written as x of n convoluted with h1 of n plus x of n convoluted with h2 of n. So the next property is identity sequence. The identity sequence for convolution sum can be written as delta of n. So which means if you take x of n convoluted with delta of n, it will be equal to x of n itself. So you convolute x of n any sequence with a delta of n you will get the same uh, sequence. So if you convolute any signal with delta of n you will get the same signal. So this is nothing but the identity property of convolution sum. Now let us see the next property. The convolution of delayed unit impulse sequence can be given as x of n convoluted with delta of n minus k will be equal to x of n minus k. The next property is the convolution of two delayed unit impulse sequence delta of n minus k convoluted with delta of n minus m can be written as delta of n minus m plus k. So this is one of the important property. So if you are taking two delayed unit impulse sequence, at that case you will get delta of n minus m plus k. So this is about the properties of convolution sum. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.